A dependency is a text-based instruction to the Gradle build system to locate, download, and integrate a library of some kind into your project. It could be a library that's specific to Android, from Google, or from some third party, or it could be any sort of Java or Kotlin-based library. They're all usable in Android and Android Studio. Your dependencies should be declared in your build.gradle file for the app module, not in build.gradle for the project. And you'll see examples of these in a new project generated in Android Studio. This first dependency is an instruction to include any jar files that are in the libs directory. This one is for the standard Kotlin library. This is for extension functions for Kotlin. This is for the app compat library, one for constraint layout, and so on. Depending on what kind of project you generated in Android Studio, you might see more dependencies than these already here. You can add your own dependencies manually by typing them in. And if you go and look at any Android library, you'll typically see instructions for how to do that. Or you can use Android Studio's project structure dialog. As is shown up here at the top of the screen, there's a keyboard shortcut that you can use to open the dialog. Or you can go to the menu and choose File, Project Structure. From there, go to the module where you want to add the dependency. In this dialog, make sure that Dependencies is selected on the left, and then select the module that you want to add the dependencies to. If you see little error messages, those are indications that there's a newer version of a dependency available. I can select that and choose the new version number, and then click Apply. And in the background, you'll see an indicator that I want to do something called resyncing. I'll get to that in a moment. But first, I'll show you how to add a dependency from scratch in this dialog. I'll click this plus icon and choose Library Dependency. Now, let's say I want to work with JSON strings, that popular notation for representing structured data. There are a couple of different libraries that are popular. There's JSON and Moshi. I'll use JSON for this example. I'll type the name of the library and click Search. And then after a moment, I see all the libraries that match. This is the one I want, the JSON library from Google. I'll select it and click OK, and then click OK again. When you exit the Project Structure dialog, your project should be resynced automatically. But if it isn't, you'll see a link at the top right. When you finish with the Project Structure dialog, the resyncing should happen automatically. But if it doesn't, just click the resync link that appears in the top right. Here's the dependency that was added. It starts with the unique identifier for the library, then the name of the library, and then the version. These dependencies can be wrapped in either single or double quotes, but if you're using variables such as this Kotlin version variable, you must use double quotes. Now, to test that the JSON library is truly available, I'll use double shift for search everywhere, and I'll open the main activity file. Then here, I'll add a JSON object. I'll create it with a name of JSON, and I'll use a class named JSON Builder. If I see this class appear, that means that the integration of the library with Android Studio was successful. I can select it and then add a bit of JSON code. Now, to fully test, I'll try to compile my application by selecting Build and then Make Project. The make operation happens really quickly in the background. And if I don't see any errors, then I know the dependency worked. So that's how you can add dependencies for popular libraries to your Gradle files without having to know the exact syntax in advance. Use that project structure dialog, and it'll put the code where it needs to go and resync your project for you.